you'd want me to do something new for the next time or if you like the videos or not and um, yeah so uh, thank you to being here so let's get started So I have some uh, some pairs on my list for the upcoming week uh, that we're gonna talk about, and as I said, we're gonna try to uh, talk about um, support and resistance a bit, and uh, I will answer your, your questions. So let's go. I need just to fix my other screen so I, so I can see your answers and then we'll get started. Sorry, I can see your questions, I mean. Uh, double sound. Good, good, good. Disclaimer is clear and the chart, I hope the chart is clear. I'm gonna make a circle here and just let me know when you see it so I know how much lagging we have. So is anyone seeing my... Uh, the circle, just uh, write me a, a Y to know that you see the circle so and we get, we can get uh, started. Hello, Mr. Chris. How are you? Good, good, Robin. Thank you. Uh, so, um, yeah, I was thinking so to show you how I start my uh, weekly research to find my pairs. Uh, of course, under the week, I've been uh, watching and uh, I know uh, already how some charts look like because um, <laughs> I've been watching the market a lot. But uh, uh, I want to I want to just show you how I do it and uh, how I used to uh, ah, pick my uh, pick my pairs uh, in the weekends. Uh, good uh, Saba, good everyone uh, having uh, no issues at all right now with the picture and the sound and uh, that's very good. So uh, I used to start with uh, looking at the Dixie just to know how the dollar is doing and uh, after that I used to go to gold and oil because they are correlated to many pairs and we need to know how's, uh, how they are doing so if we start to look at the Dixie we've been uh, in a range for uh, in about two years here as you see this range uh, rectangular here that we broke now as you see up here and what's happened price broke um, the range area and uh, went up to 1.362 and uh, now it's coming back to retest um, to re retest the broken structure this re retest for me is uh, very important to look at and uh, as I showed you in the group uh, last week uh, for many of you I put out a picture and asked it if this support here is gonna hold so um, we go down to the daily chart and uh, we can take a look at what's happening uh, we have uh, the resistance here I put it right now as a line but uh, as you know support and resistance is not line it they are areas on the chart and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about that uh, under this session when we uh, look at uh, some other pairs too uh, so um, what's happened here that we broke uh, the range that we uh, that we look at uh, on the weekly this range here and as usual price goes up from uh, when price break out um, a major level it's usually come back and retest it 
and there where I should I used to wait and see what uh, price action we got. So um, uh, last Thursday we got this nice spin bar that tested uh, this level, and the uh, price got rejected from here as you see. But on Friday we got another uh, red candle, uh, not so strong. It shows some indecision here, and uh, for me I. I'm going to be waiting and see what will go on at uh, when price comes back to this level. Uh, okay, so uh, that's about the Dixie for now. And uh, I will show you also uh, my uh, idea uh, that I publish it on TradingView about uh, the Dixie. Uh, and this is the long-term cycle and how uh, how you can spot uh, how the cycle looks like and um, how patterns repeat themselves. As you see here, if you go back to 1995, uh, and this uh, this is a monthly uh, chart, guys, we have this rally down here. One, two, three. We have this range here, and we had this up rally here that makes this trend line. When you uh, uh, put the trend line from this high to this high, you get this trend line. And what's happening here that we have <laughs> almost a copy of uh, this area here. As you see, another rally down, a little bit up and down range, and now we're going up. And I think that price gonna do the same as they did here in this green box, and we're gonna retest this trend line and go back down. So, because um, this is the monthly, so it's gonna take a, a bit of time uh, to get there. So, this is my long term view about the Dixie. Yeah, uh, gold. Gold is very important for you guys who gonna uh, who wanna trade uh, Australian dollar, especially. Uh, as you know, we've been rallying down for a while. I also published it, uh, an idea when this level get broken on uh, Trading View. I don't know if I gonna find it here. Uh, I will try to find it and show you what I mean there. Uh, let's see, gold, 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 gold. Uh, it's been a long time ago, so I maybe not find it that easy. Just give me some time, please. Australian news. Oh my God, that's a lots of ideas out there. Where are you, gold? No, I'm not. I so, here we go. So, we've been uh, up here, uh, 1311. Uh, area and uh, yeah we had this um, uptrend here uh, and uh, we had uh, the 100 EMA this is a daily chart we had this uh, support level here and uh, the idea was if this to get broken uh, price will uh, go back all the way to here and uh, as you see when this got broken, this trend line and this uh, support uh, level, price rallied down, went back up, retested as usual. We always retest a broken structure, especially if it's a major, major structure, and uh, rally it all the way down to um, uh, 1124 uh, area. And now the price is uh, going up again. And uh, we were going to see what we will be looking at for the next coming week. Uh, and uh, as you see here, uh, we have a, if you just put it like there, you're going to see what 
level we we're looking at and uh, I give you some time to spot the level and then we're gonna draw it on the chart and the level is here gonna, sorry I'm gonna draw that again here we go so uh, this level been uh, tested as support many many times one time here two three four five time and price halted here and then get broken by, by a big candle when a support level get broken by a big candle that mean the level is very very good and uh, now when price uh, got here we already see that uh, price uh, is halted a little bit we got some rejection uh, with this candle here as you see uh, on this pin bar and fr uh, last friday we got this indecision candle we can't say that we have a reversal already but we have uh, prices that halted and we have to uh, keep an eye on this level if when we go up down to the four four hour uh, you see that uh, price made a, a little bit of squeeze here retested up here and we got this uh, pin bar and the price shut down and got rejected back up again um, and I have published an idea about this scenario here that uh, I was expecting a double top in this area, uh, hopefully with some divergence also on the RSI, and for more safe entry that we maybe wait to break this trend line, and if you be if you want to be more safe, you can wait for a break of trend line and retest of this break uh, trend line, and then find a short opportunity. Uh, what's happening? That the price went down. Uh, it was a fake out and went, went back up. I went in a little bit early in this trade. As you see here, we had some uh, on the one hour, left shoulder head and right uh, shoulder. And I went in when prices uh, broke this green line, went uh, down here and then it shoots back up. So I'm in this trade right now and uh, I'm watching it. Uh, I'm watching it uh, very, very closely. And as you see here on the uh, one hour, our head and shoulder, and this was, a ah, let's, I think it was a fake out here uh, because of this level is a very important level. If you put a line here, you see if when this level gets broken, we have a nice, uh, rise rally down until this area down here this will be my uh, take profit in this area so uh, i'm watching this for now it's still looking uh, okay i'm not so um, uh, scared yet uh, and my position was a little position uh, and i wanted to add to it uh, i put this trend line here to be sure if it get broken, I'm going out. If not, I will hold this trade. Are you good so far, uh, guys? Uh, it's, uh, uh, I don't see any question or anything in the chat. Is the sound and the picture uh, okay? If not, uh, let me know, uh, especially if the colors and uh, you can see all the numbers and stuff like that. Uh, we go to the oil. Oil. Uh, has been in a little bit uptrend now, especially after the OPEX meeting and stuff, but now looks like price is not um, going up uh, as was expected. Uh, I also published an idea about the oil and uh, took a very, very good trade. I make a decent amount of money on this trade, but uh, it wasn't an easy one because um, uh, it uh, went down a little more than I expected, but uh, I could play it good anyway. 
as you see here, the main idea was to uh, uh, wait for the tracement uh, to the 51.50 level and uh, buy here, but prices went down to uh, about 50.70 and uh, I bought from that level instead and it went my way and I sold when we reached this level here. Uh, so uh, we can say uh, the, the medium trend or midterm trend for now is still uh, uptrend in my opinion because we are still making uh, higher highs and higher lows. This is our last higher high. And we have another higher high here. We have a higher low here. So, um, yeah, uh, midterm oil uh, still up, and in my uh, opinion, it will be uh, bullish until we break close and stay under this level here, uh, the 52 areas. Uh, as you see, prices broke this. We get a one daily close uh, under it and then got rejected all the way back up and uh, right now uh, we got an inside bar that we maybe need to look at because uh, prices was not able to make higher highs as you see here we got one higher high lower high lower low and lower high so uh, keep your eyes uh, on uh, this area guys and uh, especially uh, this one here if this level got broken, I think we, we have a good potential, potential to retest this area down here. As you see here, we have a nice uh, support level uh, down here. So, uh, yeah, that's about the oil. And let's go uh, to AussieCAD. I clean the chart so I, we can start from scratch and uh, okay, take a little bit look at the weekly and as you see when the chart is uh, empty like this it looks very boring <laughs> uh, but the first thing I do I spot always opportunity to draw my trend lines and uh, this move here make me see a trend line to draw here to start with then uh, I may go back to the daily put some moving average to see where what's going on on the daily because the daily respect especially the 100 and 200 moving average and as you see our 200 moving average is being testing right now but when prices are choppy like this I don't trust the moving average a lot so we use the moving average when prices are trending so if you go to 20 move the 20 period moving average we have a better respect of the moving average uh, as you see here and if we draw a trend line from here to here in this area oh sorry this trend line here you see that the trend line and the 20 period moving average are very very close uh, this trend line got broken here in the same area where um, we put uh, the other trend line and uh, we can also uh, see uh, another level to watch here and uh, level of was a support and now should be resistant and it got broken a little bit but not a huge candles we got two indecision candles on this level so um, uh, to this uh, pair to uh, have to be uh, keep watching it and see what's will going on but as oil uh, and the gold gold look um, heading for uh, same uh, level of resistance so that may uh, make the Aussie to go down uh, but if you're gonna trade 
any Aussie pair, I would go for the Aussie USD instead of this one. And uh, I will show you why. And I will show you what I see there. The same scenario here. Uh, we are heading, we had this resistance level, uh, tested here, tested here, tested here, tested a little bit here, get broken, retested, and price went all the way down. And now we are up back here. To build a scenario uh, for this level, so what we can do is to take a Fibonacci retracement uh, from this swing high to this swing low. And as you see, price are getting closer and closer to the 0 0.618, which is a really good uh, Fibonacci level. We have also uh, this resistance area here. And uh, we got our indecision candle here. We have, uh, as you see, uh, lots of wicks coming from upside, as we had here. So uh, for me, I'll be, uh, if I will go in a trade in Aussie, I will be looking uh, for uh, this one. Uh, but be cautious, guys, because this level is... Um, I think this trade going to be crowded trade and there will be maybe some uh, stop loss hunting because it's uh, when you look at, at this right now it's very obvious level and um, yeah the big banks uh, going <laughs> to be looking at this level and try to uh, get some uh, stop hunted so they have more liquidity to uh, make the sell. Uh, what I see uh, also in uh, here is uh, a um, possibility for um, my favorite uh, setup, AB equal CD. And if we take the AB leg and make another one, another leg here. This ABCD completion will uh, end here at uh, this um, support level area down here. As you see here, we have a little bit of a uh, very good support level actually. Uh, if I put a line here, support, 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 broken with a fake out. Uh, Uh, and what we're going to do also, we take a Fibonacci uh, extension from the swing high to the swing low and back up. And as you see, we get a 141.4 at this area also, which gives us a very good confluence to think about uh, a, a possibility of AB, AB equals CD. Uh, another scenario here that we are getting uh, head and shoulders, uh, shoulder, head, and maybe a shoulder here and uh, back up again, but I think more, uh, I will go more for the AB equal CD completion for this one, and uh, I'll be watching this level to try to go short and see what will going on first. At this level this is a major level that we have to uh, take a look at so if I find any shorting opportunity here I will be uh, looking at here to take my uh, to, to take my profit and if it get broken then I will be looking for that a B equal CD completion at, in this area here uh, Robin uh, you asking can we see the trade which trade you mean Robin I will keep going uh, until uh, Robin uh, answer which trade. I, I'm sorry I didn't see what trade do you mean. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at uh, the Great Britannian Pound and see what opportunity we have there. 
any questions so far guys before I keep going because um, I will just keep going and uh, show you my watch list if uh, you have any question let me know okay I've showed I showed you that trade already so are we good so far guys any questions Okay, I don't see any questions, so we can keep going. Uh, so, I open another chart, uh, Great Britannian Pound Aussie, to show you uh, where we are right now and uh, what I was thinking. And I will make it step by step uh, in this level here. So. Well, as everybody know, <laughs> the doll, uh, the Great Britannian pound was in a, is in a very very bearish mode, and now we started to see some bottoming here uh, in many pairs. Uh, I will show you the CAD also, and uh, I think we have a good one in the New Zealand and also the USD. Uh, and maybe we should start with, with uh, uh, GBP USD. Uh, we've been rallying very, very, very steep down. Uh, we are under all the <laughs> MMA uh, uh, moving averages, as you see here, the under the 50, under the 200 uh, under the hundred also so uh, no discussion uh, in which way the uh, is the trend but I also think that this level where we are right now is a good support area and we should be watching this level uh, and see what will happen uh, at the weekly, uh, as you see, uh, we get our first pin bar. We had some indecision here, indecision here, and uh, we get uh, our first pin bar to the upside. It don't mean anything right now. We don't mean that we are reversing or something, but we are in a good level, and we had our first weekly pin bar to watch. Uh, I see a question from Robin here. If you presume there will be some uh, stop loss hunting, will it make sense to have a larger stop loss or too risky? Uh, well, uh, Robin, it depends on what risk you have. Uh, I used to, when, when, when I see a trade that can um, have uh, a risk like this, I usually wait and see if uh, price uh, spike before they start to go down and uh, then I join uh, and that's why I like the head and shoulder formations because uh, they show you that uh, the head did maybe clear lots of uh, stop loss and you can uh, take your entry after uh, the other sho shoulder is formed. I would uh, not say that you should uh, take a higher stop loss if it's that's more risk and than what you usually have. Uh, if you want to take a higher stop loss, you can uh, make your lot size uh, smaller and try to uh, do it that way also if you want. Does this answer your question? So. Um, Let's go back to uh, GBPUSD. Uh, so, as we said, guys, this level is very important. And the same goes here. Many, many uh, people uh, are looking for maybe to go short here on the breakout. I Personally, I don't like it here. I don't like to uh, sell uh, at this low. <laughs> so, um, I will probably be waiting for a push up here somewhere here if I want to sell and I will try to sell from th this lever up here uh, 
we had rejection here we had another rejection uh, three times here price went up here and now we are testing again it may happen again that price push up they did but they got rejected again and friday candle was an indecision candle let's not forget next week we have uh, on tuesday some brexit speech speech from uh, from this happy lady <laughs> theresa may will uh, have some speech and um, we have also uh, mr trump uh, to swarm on friday so uh, i'm not sure uh, how the market will react so, but uh, so be careful anyway so uh, for me guys i will be waiting uh, for a bounce up before i short this pair or maybe also anticipate um, a reversal here but uh, i need some uh, confirmation for that and uh, the way I will maybe do that is to put my trend line here and wait for a break of the trend line as it happened with, with the Australian dollars I uh, published that idea in the for gods group and it works very well a retest and good to go from here because this is the this will be the safest way to go as you see here many many uh, people uh, went long price and price went back down here so um, there is a lots of people who stuck here right now so if you want to go long it's against the trend don't forget that yeah and do it uh, if you want to do it safe with a breakout here a retest of the trend line and when you get your bullish evidence in this after the trend line uh, retest you can go long and uh, this is how i would do it what is your uh, rsi settings my rsi settings uh, are i think uh, seven they are on seven yeah uh, <laughs> she's sure a happy lady sub <laughs> Yes, the, Teresa is a happy lady, Saba. Um, yeah, that's about uh, GPP USD. Um, and guys, uh, if you if you want to trade a pair, don't just um, uh, trade the two of the same pairs. So make your uh, analysis. Look for the strongest one, the one that you find on a good level. Uh, and then uh, take a decision don't just jump on anyone i usually used to look uh, at all the pairs and uh, if i wanna if i if i see anything that i want to trade on uh, let's say gp uh, gpp i look at all of them and see which is the best setup for me to go uh, to go with so don't uh, just trade uh, any setups you just find try to look at all the possibilities before you uh, make your trades um, so let's go we've been uh, in about uh, 30 minutes now uh, and i'm gonna look at some um, euro pairs let's start with uh, euro usd i personally not liking this pair for the moment uh and uh, the reason is uh, as you see in the chart uh, lots of crazy volatility here here spikes all over the way um, and that don't fit my uh, trading uh, i just don't like it uh, but uh, yeah uh, we will talk about uh, what's happening in the short and uh, try to give you my view about this pair uh, but if i gonna trade it or not that is another story <laughs> uh, anyway we've been in a downtrend uh, this, uh, and uh, we have almost the same chart uh, as uh, dixie 
and uh, that's not so strange because uh, the euro is about I think 55 or 60 percent of the Dixie uh, index so um, you're not surprised that they look the same we've been raging in about two years in this box uh, we went out of it and now uh, prices uh, are going up back uh, a little bit um, and it's what how I see it it's just a retest of uh, the broken structure for now but we have a uh, lots of wicks from both downsides and upsides and as I told you that's the main reason what I don't like in uh, this pair for now uh, the level we are retesting is uh, a good level uh, and uh, we are sitting in uh, uh, under this resistance area we've been rejected once here uh, let me show you that on the daily rejection and this is another a little bit of rejection not a, as big as, uh, as this one uh, but what I, I don't like about it that we have also this push from down here so lots of indecision uh, right now the level is uh, an important level to keep watching and uh, if it gets broken I will not jump on uh, directly I want to see a real break a retest and maybe another move up but as I said this is against the trend and uh, the maximum level should be somewhere here or we maybe get another possibility if you see it this nice head and shoulder is possible also but uh, it maybe takes some time. Let's keep an eye on Mr. Trump and see what's will going on with after he sit and start taking decisions. <laughs> mm, yeah, uh, what I'm really watching on the euro for now is the uh, Euro Aussie. Uh, I like th this one much, much more. Uh, as you see here we have uh, uh, I was actually thinking as I said that I want to give you a little tutorial about support and resistance so I was thinking I will show you um, a little bit about support and resistance in this pair because it's uh, it's a very good chart to uh, take a look at and uh, learn some uh, support and resistance so uh, my question to you guys what is support and resistance for you so just give me some answers in the chart in the chat please what is support and resistance what do you know about it ah, and i'll take some water never been talking so much in uh, <laughs> in a long time No one, what, no one can. Uh, what is support and resistance? Come on, guys! You surely know what support and resistance is. It's the first thing you have to start with when you start trading. In my opinion, because I love support and resistance, even when many many say that they don't work. Area with where prices has been before and reversed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or areas where prices get rejected also so uh, is Batya the only one who uh, knows something about support and resistance in the room guys well multiple touches of price in the area yeah much that's good also good good answer uh, QBR Forex uh, let me show you here on this chart how I uh, do it uh, 
first thing I want you to consider support and resistance guys as areas and not lines on the chart because as you see the market is never never perfect you will have some uh, spikes you will have price uh, go above a little bit and go down again what I want to uh, do is mark uh, areas when I see that uh, price got rejected before so as we see here we had if you mark prices like this you it be much much easier to see it we had this clearly down we got rejected back up down here again rejection at the same level up went down retested no up again down retested up again and down here and as you see we got a big uh, red candle that broke uh, the support and which for me make it very very valid I love to see big candles that break support that means it's a strong one and the price went back under it what happens when a support get broken guys anyone knows what happened when uh, support get broken what can we call it now Yes, Abba, same for me. Uh, huge candles are very good when they break uh, support and resistance. Uh, Brian, that's right. Uh, struggle price. Uh, areas of struggle for price, yeah? Resistance, yeah. That's right. When a broken support, um, uh, when a support get broken, it get uh, resistance. And this is very clear here. Uh, this area is now resistance. One test. We got this crazy news spike here. Uh, uh, it was the Trump election. And uh, for me, uh, when I look at the chart and see those news spike as this one, Trump election, for me, I don't see it anymore. I don't look at it. I don't care about this week because it's a just a news uh, week. And um, for me, it's not a real price action. So I just delete it from my mind as you see here prices got rejected one more time back down up we have many many tests of this area and we broke it and got rejected directly and get our nice good uh, rally down so what i'm looking at looking at right now is this support level again it's not a line it's an area and as you see here we have lots of uh, res uh, support here now uh, one two three four five six times tested so that should be a major level and uh, I also spot here my uh, favorite AB equal CD uh, Uh, set up <laughs> uh, and I also publish it this one on uh, trading view uh, let me show you there so I don't uh, tell you something wrong about it here we go so as you see uh, on the four hours we have this uh, AB equal CD level um, uh, sorry setup uh, many people asking me um, why uh, if or sorry if it's uh, valid when AB equal CD did not retrace uh, to uh, 618 Fibonacci for me everything uh, from 0 0.38 Fibonacci replacement it's okay I've been trading this uh, setup many times at uh, that retracement and it worked well for me and uh, we have uh, a uh, Fibonacci extension from A to B and back to A and we get our Fibonacci extension also at this level uh, 16.8 Fibonacci extens uh, extension sorry and uh, we have also this green area which is the support area so 
a completion uh, down here will be will be my reason for entry for a long price went down here push back up and now trying to go back down again as you see here uh, so I will be uh, waiting for this to complete and I will put it up here so you can also see it um, oops sorry uh, I need to copy this one uh, somewhere here so uh, and I will be waiting for completion at this level and uh, as you see it's a really really good area to look for uh, this completion to happen uh, so yeah you're Aussie I will be waiting down here for a long <coughs> beside uh, the short on the gold also will be good reason uh, what do you have also on my watch list uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, some Euro more Europeans the euro gpy and i will show you uh, another idea about the euro gpy uh, here we go the euro uh, i've been waiting uh, for uh, this level um, uh, for a while to see if uh, we get a rejection here um, and when price get to this level we had a rejection a little bit uh, we have uh, we, it did push up a little bit more went down I shorted it but my take profit was at this area here and uh, it went back up against me and I went um, I, I went out of half of my position and I'm still holding the rest but I think it will go down again because we now have a nice uh, double top and I will show you why I'm still in here uh, so as you see here we have this rally up down up again and uh, we have this nice divergence on the RSI so that's what make me keep holding this for this double top here and uh, I'm waiting uh, with half of my position open and uh, my take profit is somewhere in this area uh, so yeah uh, for you GPY I'm looking for short for now from this level let's see uh, any question uh, Brian, so in the AB ECOCG price, this uh, doesn't have to follow the lines closely. Is that to make it target? Uh, yeah, uh, actually, <laughs> I'm a bit. Uh, I don't think the market is perfect, Brian. So, uh, yeah, uh, the completion of the AB ECOCG may, may be a little bit more than the level or a little bit shorter than the level, and I will go for it anyway. Uh, Irene uh, says you uh, didn't hear anything. Uh, is there any problem with the sound, guys? Irene don't hear anything. I will try to talk to Irene from the chat. Uh, sounds is good. Try to re-enter. Sound fine, yeah, good. Uh, in your last example, the price stopped and was uh, ranging at l a little bit on its way to the support floor. Uh, about um, about which pair, Brian? Does it make sense to draw support and resistant in one minute chart? I don't think so, Robin. No, well, I never try. I never traded one minute chart <laughs> for that reason. Uh, I always draw my support and resistance area on the weekly and the daily, actually. Uh, so um, no, for me it's uh, I don't like uh, one minute chart and especially a support and the resistance drawn on one minute chart is nothing to look at problem solve it good uh, it was just a continuation of my question on AB equals CZ yeah 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 
Uh, well, uh, Brian, uh, the price stopped and was ranging a little on this way uh, to support go. Yeah, uh, and we we can go back and take a look. I think you were talking about the Euro Aussie. Were you talking about uh, this chart, uh, Brian? Because what's happened here, if you look, if you look at this area, Brian, so we had this nice ranging area. It may be uh, an order block here, uh, uh, demand area, because uh, price prices left very strong from here. So it may it may be a good uh, demand area, and uh, that's why I think price went up. And uh, I got many questions on trading view. If I would uh, take this trade already from here, and I said no, I would not, because that was wasn't in my plan. Uh, and it was actually maybe a, a good reason to go uh, long from here, because we had this engulfing candle. Four hour engulfing candle is very valid for me. I like the four hour charts because they give me uh, much stronger, stronger signals. But price uh, didn't make it uh, very high and we get another uh, ah, almost uh, engulfing uh, candle. And price is now going down to f hopefully form a double bottom here. So if we get if we get this double button at this area, Brian, this moment, if we get a double bottom here and a good divergence on the RSI, I will actually be looking for a long, even if price don't hit my level or the end of the AB equal CD. Uh, I hope this uh, answer your question, Brian. Are we okay from here? Any other questions, guys? Or shall I keep going? Okay, good, Brian. Good. So uh, let's take a good uh, take a look at um, USD CAD. A very very popular pair that uh, everyone is looking at, and I. See I think my Christmas tree is still on this chart. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, let's clear it. Uh, let's go. So everyone is waiting for the USD dollar to make the down move. And if you go to the weekly, you know why. Uh, everyone want this to break to the downside because we have a huge uh, <laughs> short trade that may go all the way here. So what's happened, it, we had this really, really nice down rally here. Uh, <laughs> I traded this one from this area after the break of this level here. Of, uh, and now we are in a retracement mode, I, you can't say something else about this chart. We take a Fibonacci retracement from the swing high to the swing low. And as you see, we got rejected from the 50 Fibonacci uh, retracement exactly here. Uh, one time, two times, and the uh, price went back down to this uh, trend line. Uh, we shot out from it a little bit and we went back up but when we go down to the daily and make this trend line a little bit more clear and uh, take a look if we make it this way one touch two three four touch I think this uh, trend line is more reliable to look at uh, we broke it and uh, we got a huge rejection here. Oh, sorry. 
you see this rejection here uh, and I think it was only a retest when you go down to the four hour you say what I mean uh, it was a rally down back up retest and now it's going back down so I've start to think that we may have the move now but we still have this good level to watch we had one two and this third one test here and uh, for me to uh, go short because uh, I didn't take this retest here so I'll be waiting and uh, see what's will going on uh, in this this area if this get broken oh man you don't want to miss this trade but don't rush because there will be a plenty of time to get in uh, just wait for it don't jump in directly you don't need to rush because there will be lots of time as you see here price go up go down go up so there's no no real reason to rush wait for it when you have your breakout do it the right way wait for the breakout retest and failure and jump on again because there is much much uh, time to uh, short this pair uh, and uh, yeah it's gonna be a very good opportunity to uh, take it uh, if you can come down want gold go up then as they call it uh, yeah of course uh, gold uh, will uh, try to go up now uh, but uh, I, I, th I think um, the dollar is st still very strong um, but uh, what make me a little bit uh, unsure is um, this Trump situation and uh, that we may have a correction and uh, we, we maybe uh, are already in this correction as, uh, when you look at uh, the Dixie and um, GPY and the euro so we have a little bit correction but uh, I think uh, the market will be very very unsure uh, for some weeks so uh, let's uh, just uh, be careful and uh, take one swing at a, at a time I don't uh, I don't use uh, to uh, guess uh, for or forecast for months uh, I just uh, forecast uh, my swing trade I take one swing at a time and that's uh, enough for me How do you use RSI decision? Well, the RSI decision, uh, I don't base my decision only on the RSI. Let's be clear with that, uh, Robin. I have it there for confirmation only, and I almost, almost uh, only use it uh, when I want to spot reversals, reversals trades in a good level. Let's see uh, if we have a nice example on this chart. Mm, I'm not actually sure we have right here. Let's go down for the four hours. Well, here, here we go, uh, Robin. Uh, let's take a look at this one. This level here is a good resistance level, yes. So when uh, prices uh, were on the way up here from this area, as you see from here to here, we had the RSI overbox here and uh, if we do this you'll see that price kept going up and RSI were a little bit on the way down this huge movement from here to here the RSI kept being overbought but slightly going down so that divergence make me very very uh, make it a very very level uh, very very good level for me to watch and uh, what i do 
I wait the price go under uh, uh, the 75s uh, I have my lines on 75 and 25 not 70 and 30 uh, when price go under the 75 uh, when the RSI sorry go under 75 on a good level like this and the divergence that make me take a trade this is does this an answer your question uh, Robin yeah uh, yeah Irene uh, that's right oil is uh, also correlated with Canadian so I uh, you cat goes down oil will go up yes or if oil go up then you cat will go down Uh, Robin, uh, you got your answer for the RSI. So, do you have uh, any more pairs you want to look at, guys, uh, or any questions? Uh, any more questions about uh, support and resistance? We didn't go. We didn't get in very much in uh, what uh, details of support and resistance uh, just um, just a little bit about it and uh, it looks like uh, all of you guys uh, know a little bit about support and resistance uh, but uh, the main thing I want you to know that look at it as um, areas and uh, I maybe can do another uh, webinar uh, only about uh, support and the resistance uh, if you want uh, just uh, give me a, uh, put a comment uh, under the video uh, any um, ideas you have if I have uh, more time I will be happy to make a new video or a new webinar about it uh, so uh, does any one of you have any special um, pairs to look at or um, are we fine like this because I've been talking in about one hour now and um, I showed you all the pairs I'm looking for for next week how did you how did you happy yes let's go to my other chart Oh, I need to write this down just a moment please so I don't scroll up a lot GBP New Zealand yeah we will take a look at that too Irene I was interested in Aussie USD last Friday I saw a huge cut form and um, yeah yeah I saw that too. I think it will be crazy uh, Irene yeah we can uh, look at uh, Aussie USD again I think we went through that already but we can uh, take a, a look at it no problem all the see. so um, if we start with uh, uh, all the Jappy for uh, John Fisher asked about it uh, well what I was looking at in this pair uh, the switch right now so uh, yeah f uh, if we take it from the start we uh, we broke a major trend line here as you see if we go to the weekly we had this major trend line here uh, it was a really really good trend line to trade as you see here uh, it was respected many many times and we broke it at this level and price rallied up in a very very good way and what's happened when we got to uh, this resistance level we got our first very good looking pin bar here uh, and we if we go down to the daily you see you see it much better a really good trade here a pin bar a very bearish candle after it we broke this level went down all the way to this support so we have now a good support to lean on uh, this support is a area to watch next time price get near this level 
but anyway, we uh, bounced from here, we got up, we are wedging a little bit now, and as you see, those last two days, we have a little bit of indecision, uh, price push up and push back down again. Uh, if we go down to the four hour, we see it a little bit clearer. And what maybe happened here can be what I talked about in the start of this video, that, that we maybe had a squeeze or some stop loss hunting. And if we delete this and just take a look what happened here, uh, many people went long on this candle because we had this break of the highs. And now they are stuck in the trade. Many of them may be already left because uh, the stop loss uh, get triggered. Price get down here, tested uh, this trend line. It's a really good one. We've been tested one, two, several times here, as you see. Very respected trend line. Reject uh, a break and rejection here. We tested another time and now uh, price are going down to retest it. I don't really trust Friday uh, <laughs> Friday prices, so uh, many uh, institutes and uh, many traders uh, used to close uh, position at the end of the week, so I'm not really sure about this, uh, this candle, but I will surely be looking to see what will going, uh, how it will react next week when it uh, go back uh, to the trend line. I would, I would want to see a break, once again, retest, and looking for uh, some uh, bearish uh, formation here to maybe retest this level, and if this level is broken, it's going to be this level I will be uh, watching to take profit. So um, we have this level to watch if we have our break of trend line retest and uh, we want to short this first this this first level can be your first take profit if it's get broken you can take your second profit out here but i will not go long from here uh, even if uh, the price bounce back up because this area uh, it's not a good long area for me. I will just look for some short from here. So, uh, oh, let's see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I wasn't reading uh, the chat. Uh, sorry, I missed it. Uh, Irene, I think oil goes up. Yes, thank you, Sam. Uh, Sam. Thank you, make me see if my trades. Uh, you're welcome, John. Uh, so uh, I think someone was asking about uh, GPP in New Zealand. Let's take a look at that. What do we have here? As always, guys, we go to the weekly and uh, take a decision. Uh, where is the trend going? And this is not hard to see. We have a <laughs> downtrend as all the GBP pairs. Uh, I am I, w I market some levels on these pairs that I have uh, been watching. And uh, as you see here, we have uh, this resistance area, uh, which was it was support here. If we go back and talk about support resistance, as we says, uh, as we said in the video before, uh, when support like this get broken, it uh, it gets resistance, and that's exactly what's happened. It, we had uh, sorry, support here, uh, here, here, and it got broken here, and now it's acted as resistance med time resistance and resistance and when we tested this resistance we made this uh, ranging area as you see here uh, 
and we also made our support level here I would say this level and this support now got broken by a really huge candle retested and going back down what I'm looking at at the moment or for next week is to price to, tr to try and test this area and gonna look for a possible bounce up back up here or if it will not make it from as you see here we have some resistance also here uh, let's go. this is also resistance but for now it was broken and uh, we have to watch it as uh, as price uh, keep pushing down next week and see if we're gonna make it under this lever and try to uh, test uh, this support so um, a bounce up from here is also possible from this level for me it's not broken uh, uh, all the way yet because as you see here there can be a lot of uh, movement in this area we maybe will see the same price action again the price uh, maybe uh, stocks hair a little bit uh, and go uh, back up or if it breaks I will be looking to uh, maybe go long from from this level and uh, I will not be surely not entering at the daily I will be entering at the four hour and when we go uh, down to the four hour as you see price had some trouble in this area and uh, uh, same thing goes here this last candle is uh, position closing uh, on a Friday uh, so this last candle is nothing for me to trust 100% uh, so I will not be uh, surprised if uh, price uh, bounce back up from this level next week and as I said before if not you can uh, uh, if you are a breakout trader you can trade this level because now we have we've made a good level to look at here and if price go under these lows under the lows here if you are a breakout trader you maybe can take this trade if I would take it I will also be waiting for break retest on the one hour and down so I would not take uh, the break out directly uh, I would wait uh, for, uh, for the one hour break and close below maybe go down a bit a little bit go up and retest and give me some evi bearish evidence uh, and I will short it from there and the take profit is uh, for sure this area so uh, that's what uh, what I see on uh, GP buy in New Zealand. Let's see if we have uh, yeah we have um, Irene wanted uh, me to uh, take a look all the USD. Let's do that. All the USD, as we talked before, uh, what I see here is um, we have this huge rally here I publish it an idea about it and I said if price <laughs> break this or when uh, it was broken I said sell the retest and failure here and as you see guys we have a little bit of retest not a huge one here on this candle a little retest and a very good rally down went back up and down again and now we are back almost the same at the same uh, level um, what i really want to see maybe that price give us a little bit more push here to retest the uh, let's see here the 
0.618 Fibonacci, which happened to be at this supply level, and it have been resistance, resist, uh, support, sorry, before here. So I will gladly see a little bit push up here and um, I will be looking for bearish evidence at this level and try to join this trade at first take profit here because we have a possibility as I said before for a head and shoulders formation and maybe another one uh, another push up first take profit here and uh, if um, this this uh, low get broken I will be looking to, uh, towards this area and long long term <laughs> will be this level but uh, that depend on your trading style and if you're gonna hold uh, so long and wait so much for the price to get there uh, it's just an idea for now but what I see is this level is a really good level to short for me and uh, there where I will be watching where prices are right now I will be looking for bearish evidence to go short from here uh, so uh, yeah, Irene, that's what uh, I see about uh, Aussie USD uh, pair. I don't think I have any more uh, pairs uh, from you guys. Uh, I think uh, that was all the pairs you've been asking about. So guys, uh, any more questions before we end this? You want me to show you anything uh, about support and resistance or any pair or uh, we maybe uh, call it a day and don't forget guys give some thumbs up share this video please it will I will be upload I will upload it uh, on YouTube also so uh, if someone of you had uh, some sounds issue uh, that um, you didn't hear uh, it will be much better to watch uh, the video when I upload it on uh, the YouTube channel uh, give me some comments some feedbacks is needed so I know what uh, do you want me to talk about in the next video and uh, some thumbs ups and uh, please share this video uh, in places you know that people is interested to watch it uh, thank you to uh, Brian uh, thanks for your support man uh, thank you very much Thank you, uh, Hubert. Happy that you like it. Uh, Robin asking, when do support and resistance not hold? I don't mean... Uh, uh, Saba, thank you. Sa thank you very much uh, for your support. Uh, Robin, uh, please, uh, can you um, ask that again? Uh, when do support and resistance not hold? I don't actually um, understand what you mean, Robin. So if you can formulate that uh, question again, I will be happy to answer it before uh, we end this uh, webinar. Uh, thank to you too, uh, Sam. Uh, thank you for your support, man. I think... Uh, I think you're asking what causes support resistance to get broken. Well, uh, yeah, what causes support and resistance to get broken? Support and resistance, uh, all the moves in the market are actually made by supply and demand. So, uh, uh, a support level is not a line on the chart. It's uh, lots of orders in a specific place on the chart. Let's say uh, there is, uh, if, I, if, if I will show you on this chart uh, what I mean. Uh, let's say we have uh, lots of banks that's interested to uh, buy price at this level here. So what's happened, they put the order uh, limits down here. 
and when price reach this area there is a huge amount of orders so the buyer overwhelms the sellers here and what happens is when orders when you don't have more orders to buy from at this level what do you do you go higher and test if there is uh, higher prices here and you start this cycle again until prices get up so much that it gets very very high uh, and uh, no one is interested to buy it anymore so when you have something to sell let's say uh, you have an auction you have uh, um, you go to an auction and there is a uh, hundred iPhones the first uh, one uh, you go to the iPhone price was one dollar and it's up to hundred dollar uh, of course you will buy the iPhone that cost one dollar and this, the next buyer will will buy the iPhone that cost two dollar etc when price goes to up to fifty dollars maybe no more uh, buyers are interested and uh, the sellers uh, see that no one is buying their phones so what is to do what they do they have to make prices lower so they start to make prices lower uh, go down to 45 dollar and test yeah someone comes and buys for 45 dollars but only one so they want more buyers so they start to uh, make prices higher this is the cycle so when you prices get in this uh, example here when prices were uh, here there was orders in this area but it was also lots of profit taking here maybe because prices rallied all the way down and it's a good support level as you see from here so this bounce may be made by uh, profit taking not only uh, that uh, someone entered here to want to buy the prices from here there was surely some buyers also from this area but the the main reason maybe the price bounced from this area was profit taking and uh, when you are selling a position and you want to take profit you have to be a buyer to get out of it so that's make pr prices to bounce back up here and when the seller went in again there was no more order on in this area here and that's why this support got broken but we have we have had much more orders here and as you see prices uh, halted here and uh, for uh, maybe a week or so and uh, when all the all the orders all the uh, the selling orders uh, in this area was over so they you have to find higher ground to uh, if you want to buy more and when this orders is over here you go to higher ground to find your orders to get filled and price go up this way um, so uh, that's why a support uh, level get broken irene i hope this answered your question uh yeah the brian fundamentals i i'm i'm actually the worst one in the world you're gonna ask about fundamentals uh what i what i do that um in about fundamentals or news i uh, I know when the big news are going out, I will surely be listening for uh, Teresa on Tuesday. I uh, will surely be very, very cautious on um, this week for because uh, we have the Trump um, sworn and stuff like that. And um, I used to see where the big news, uh, which day and what time and um, to stay out of the market. And not taking trade uh, if I have uh, news in a uh, next hour or so so I used to wait for the big news to happen wait uh, for the craziness and the spikes and uh, then uh, make my trading decision if, if I had a plan already I execute it after uh, maybe a half an hour or so af uh, after the news uh, but um, that's all I look at 
and uh, my fundamental knowledge is a little, little low. I think for me, the charts show you everything you need to know. All I need to know is when is the, the big news coming uh, to uh, be cautious and not uh, jump in in a trade. But uh, for me, the technical uh, in the chart is all I look at. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, I don't see any more questions um, in the chat. So uh, once again, guys, thank you very much. It's, uh, <laughs> it's been now one and a half hour of me talking. So um, <laughs> I think it's, uh, let's call it a day and uh, happy trading week, trade safe, be careful, uh, don't risk a lot. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, let's see how this um, week goes. See you out there. Thank you very much.